Hi YouTube, I wanted to show you how to change your um, shift cable that goes to your transmission in case it goes bad. You see, for me example, for, for example for me, um, ah, this is, I, I put grease on the new one, so I don't, don't want to drop it, but um, say you're shifting around here, doo -doo 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 -doo, and <laughs> it doesn't go back up, so mine, for example went all the way down to drive one and i took the battery off so i can't see the light display but it's okay um so it goes down to drive one and it can't go back to park uh from the shifter uh i learned that that was because of the shifter cable and i would have to go down to the bottom of the transmission underneath the car and uh fuck with my little roller thing oh, fuck this grease okay i would have to touch that thing right there underneath the transmission so you go underneath there's the transmission pan on top of this 2003 Dodge Dakota is, I wish I could turn the light on for you. Okay, yeah, flashlight mode. Okay, not there, but right there on top is a lever that's connected, that the shifter cable connects to. Now this lever controls your gears, so you could push that all the way backwards, like that direction, and it'll go back to park. So you can start the car and keep moving again. Uh, for me, I would pull it. I was able to pull it down and go down the gears, but not back up. Uh, yours might be different. You might not be able to move it at all. Who knows? But here's how to take off the shifter cable and replace it with a new one. First, you take out the screws from underneath with a T20 Torx um, uh, Torx screwdriver. Got mine from AutoZone. All you, all the tools you need for this job are a flathead, maybe a crowbar. This is all, this is all the ones I use: crowbar, flathead, and a Torx 20. You take it under from underneath. The whatever screws hold it there. Those three or four screws hold it there. Um, from here, you take all the plastic stuff off. Take off the Phillips heads on the top. To take the console here off. The plastics off. I was unable to take the bottom plastic off, so it wasn't it was a big deal, though. Um, put it back together later, and you would take this off right here by using your flathead and just bump it with your crowbar or whatever hammer you got. Bump it off real quick with the flathead. Okay, pop it off on the top there. You'll have two tabs on that cable here. You push those, depress those two tabs and pull it through. You pull through here, you got that part disconnected, you go underneath, you do the same thing, you take it off the lever, and you uh, tighten the two, because on the bottom side they have a similar to that the top side, you got to depress the two tabs and pull it through also. Uh, after you do that, you just pull it through the, uh, the hole from here, from the bottom up, you pull it through the top here. And as I reinstall it, I'm gonna go from the top deck. Oh, ow, fuck my head. Y'all got a concussion. Damn, that hurt. Fuck, ow. Yeah, this truck is really solid. Um, but, uh, so I guess I don't need this part right here. I got, got my old one I'm gonna let it reuse. So, small screwdriver, flathead is useful also for these type of jobs. Uh, I can't really show you. I need a new camera. Yeah, it's a small little snub nose screwdriver. Pop it. There. Okay, I got it off. Now, you feed that through the bottom. And got that thing off. And now I'm going to feed this through. I don't know where it's at. Okay, it's placed, but fuck it. So it helps to get on the other side as well. Well, there you have it. I'm not a good cameraman, but uh, that's what you do. You feed it through the bottom, 
reconnected to the top. I'm gonna get this part here, reconnect the plug into it. I put grease all up in it. I'm gonna put it, I think this is the side. Not very sure, but uh, yeah, I'll put it right there where it was before. Uh, right up on that silver bulb. Right there, I'll connect it. Bam. And then go back down. So, wish me luck. It's gonna work.